All right, welcome to this episode of my playthrough of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. We are currently in Lindenvale uh, for a couple reasons. Uh, first of all, we are doing a fist fighting circuit in Velen, uh, where we can become the champion. We've defeated one opponent, we have two more to face. Um, secondly, uh, we have helped the Bloody Baron with their uh, botchling uh, issue, with his botchling issue, and are hoping that we can uh, turn the botchling into a lubberkin, which will help us find where the uh, Bloody Baron's wife and uh, daughter are, uh, but we have to wait a day and a half before that's possible. Anyway, as we arrived in Lindenvale, the Elderman, uh, which is up here somewhere, um, had some not so nice things to say about Witchers as we approached. So uh, I'm before I take on the fight, I'm going to see what the Elderman's problem is, and then we'll see what we want to do. Let's go. Ye death! Be gone, you blasted mutant! Where's all this hate for witchers coming from? Where? I'll tell you where. One of yous came here, ate his fill for two days while he thunk things over. Then he says he'd do us a favor and kill our monster. What's your price? I asked. But he said he wanted no coin, for he saw we'd none to offer. So what did he want instead of coin? Said for pay he'd take something I had but did not yet know about. Then he left, and here the door swung shut behind him. My lass started wailing. What's these tears, I asked. Oh, I can't bear it, she says. I'll kill the horse and... Go on. Fool girl wept that some beast was gonna kill the witcher dead. Ye howling for a mutant, I said. Then she told me, told me, Bugger had bewitched her with his evil eye, seduced her, and that were to be his prize. A witcher's bastard. Um. So during loading screens, it gives you little um, tidbits or tips or trivia things, and one of them is that witchers like witches, uh, and um, wizards and or whatever the phrase is, are sterile in this world. So that's. Uh, Definitely not the case. I can either just say that to the man, or I can say, where will I find this man? I think I want to investigate further because this guy is going and besmirching the uh, Witcher name. Tell me where he is. Take care of this for you. Cemetery. Went there to slay the monster. Hope the corpse eater guts that fornicated freak. Witcher wannabe. Use your Witcher senses to look for the charlatan in the cemetery. Well, I'll do that, but... Oop, not world map, I want quests. I'll do that after I do Fists of Fury, Velen, and defeat Fish Gulper. Hey, a fellow like you's got to be experienced. Will you fight Stan Fish Gulper? What do they call you? Know how to fight? Geralt. And yes. <laughs> then enter the lists, my friend. Uh, if the last fight was any indication, I can bet the full amount and be safe. I'm ready. Let's fight. Good folk. Fish gulpers finally found a foe. Right here, right now, on the field of honor, he'll face none other than Geralt of Rivia, the uh, Hammer! Spare me a minute before the fight, Master. Please! Cut of your mugs plain as day. What am I beside ye? I just want to live. These days, streams are bereft. No fish for me to gulp. And they's given a sack of flour to the winner. Show some pity. Take a fall for me. I'm... I show sympathy, but I, I'm a man of integrity. I don't fake things like that. I mean, if he just wants some food, I'll give him some food, but I'm not going to fake it. Take a fall. Not about to lose on purpose. If you want to win, 
You gotta beat me. Mistake. Yeesh. Okay, the camera's not my friend here. Also, I have no guarantee that he's actually even telling the truth. Yes, we might have known. The Witcher took fish gulper and fish plowed his job. Near warm my heart to see him renovate his head. There's Jonas still. You can arrange to fight him if you want. This be the Witchman. Bring the nature. Hey, fish gulper. What do you want? I had to win, but I don't want your family to go hungry. Here. Take the purse. That's... why... thank you, Master. Yeah, that was only five coins, and I won... Like, I bet 70, so I got 140 from that. So, like, that's a no-brainer. <laughs> All right, let's go find this Witcher wannabe. Good thing I happen to know where the cemetery here is. Because, well, I defeated the corpse eater that he was, uh, that the Elderman was uh, complaining about and saying he hoped that the supposed Witcher would fall to. Which is another thing for me to want to face this guy one on one. He's taking credit for my kill. <laughs> Thank you, you came just in time. A moment more and that ghoul would have filleted me like a flounder. Actually, not sure I should have intervened. Your combat style, it's new to me. Should have just observed. Where'd you complete your training? School of the Snail? But then where'd you get your wolf's head medallion? You're... You're the real thing. A witcher? Mm-hmm. What gave it away? That I didn't wet my trousers at the sight of one lousy ghoul? Answer the question. Where'd you get the medallion? I bought it from a traveling peddler. Oh, the villagers are coming. Don't tell him about me, please. Monster slain! Oi, what's this? Two witchers? We only hired one. I... Alright. No, I, I gotta... I'm... If nothing, I'm playing Geralt as an honest, if sometimes benevolent and generous. He's honest and stern. Only one Witcher here. This man's a charlatan. Travels from village to village, cheating people. No, no, it's not like that. I can explain everything I can. He's a crook, a fraud. Oh, we've laws for this kind, special punishments. Thank ye for exposing him, Master Witcher. I can tell them to let him go or to take him to the village elder. Ugh. Oh. No, this guy... I gotta clear the Witcher name on this one. Ought to take him to the village elder. 
course. Elder can decide what to do with this scoundrel. Last cheat came through. Fellow pay him with shaved coins. We lopped his hands off. I'm sure your elder takes care to make the punishment suit the crime. Ought to start by taking his sword, tossing his medallion in the fire. Farewell. I want to talk to the village Elderman and see if he's changed his mind. No, the Elderman isn't here. Now, ah, well. All right, back to Fists of Fury. Let's find Jonah. Uh, Roach should be over the here. To the you know. Yeah, while Geralt. Well, the way I'm playing Geralt is not afraid to use trickery when necessary. He's not dishonest. take the random side path, Roach. That's, like, the worst thing you could have done. Slower. The pathing in this game, I tell ya. Talk to the bookie. Will you join the tournament? Eh? A bit of honest fist fighting to clear the lungs and bowels. Though I warn you, <laughs> Jordan can be fierce. Likes to bite. Get me? So, what'll it be? What are the rules? We mostly use fists, but no one looks askance at a straight kick to the stones. Defeat Jonah, then Smithy, and stand fist gulper. And you learn the right to face the sergeants. Velen's champion. Oh, so there's a fourth one after that. Fair. Oh, this bet is only 50. This guy's probably the easiest one of them. All right. Let's see just how fierce Jonah is. Feast your eyes on an epic clash between Jonah and the Drifter! Oh, come on! Because the others were 75. Oh. 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 Oh.
Drifters defeated Jonah. Could this be a new champion of Velen in the making? Who can tell? If you want to be champion, go to Crow's Purge and ask for the sergeant. I'll try your strength in Novigrad. The fight there too. Same in Skelliger. Alright, so now we have to fight the sergeant for the Velen title. Take it easy. Get here. I tried to dance with Witcher. Where'd he come from? So this should be quick, based on the way the other fights have gone. Sergeant to run for his money as the title for the title. Anyway, I swear I can talk. Really. Which has whooped all challenges. Who knows? Might knock you out. I'm ready. Huh? Look who we have here! The Baron know this is how his men amuse themselves. Baron knows all about it. Even bets in the fight sometimes. Bets like a dumb fuck always loses. Let's start. All right. Come to daddy. What I do to deserve your... Ow! <laughs> You're gonna make me wait. What a fight! Let it be known by one and all that the Witcher has defeated the Sergeant and become champion of all Velen! If you've not had your fill, you'll find worthy pugilists elsewhere. Plenty of them in Novigrad. Plenty in the Skelliger Isles. What's your business? Does the Baron know you're here? It won't be as cocky once the Baron's mad. Well, I felt pretty confident betting the full amount. 
and uh, I got it. <laughs> Alright, well it's giving me the option to summon the Lubberkin where the botchling is buried. Um, I think. Let's sit and wait and see what happens. By blood's power I summon you. With your name I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Follow the Lubberkin. Oh, he's quick. It's beautiful. In a kind of creepy way. No. Ever heard of preventive arsenal? I wonder if I could have done that without having to actually wait and do other things um, in the meantime. care about the drowners because I don't want to lose the Lubberkin. Ugh, sure wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around though. Search the area around the smokehouse using your witcher senses. All right. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Shoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Clothing. They change in here. Both were here and going the right way. Wants to show me something more. I don't know what that sound was, but uh, didn't sound friendly. Oh, my God. 
that horse carcass. Let's see what's in the horse carcass. What do we have here? Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. about the wolves and yes I know that's what's what's that's what's chasing me oh good thing the lubberkin waits for me Look. I've been to this hut. Um, I I recognize it because when I was doing my point of interest searching, I came around along here, and there was uh, this bandit camp over here and this over here, and I walked past this hut, and there was nothing at all that happened. So I uh, made a note of it, but I. Obviously, there's nothing for me to do. Look around the fisherman's hut. Who's that? At the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy. No, children. <laughs> I want to help that woman. She could be in danger. Young and see no one, my lord. He's a kitty. Must have dreamt it. I want to hear this dream then. So, kid, who did you see? Who came here? Pappy brought her at night. The lady does the medicines. She was all afeard. Talked about an awful monster. Said she had to go back. Don't know where to. Mummy and Pappy cheered her up. Gave her clothes. Hers were ragged. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough, no point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. 
What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, for like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damned birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. But then I saw it. Fiery marks on her ass. Well, that's interesting. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron on the palms inside. Burned like a cattle brand? Aye, though no, these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing as if they burned with raw fire. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did that. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara learned it. Brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods... A roar. Broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded. Said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. A while back, I met a woman in Crookback Bog. Had fiery marks on her skin like the ones you described. Must be her, Mrs. Anna. Gods, she to Crookback Bog. It's where I saw her last. Gods of all the heavens protect us. Tis clear now who's whispered to her in the night. It is. The crones took her. She must have made a deal with them. A pact. It's why they marked her and took her like she was their own. Well, that is interesting. Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. So I've got two objectives right now. Talk to the Baron about his family and find Tamara, the Baron's daughter, in Oxenfurt. Well, I am going to call an end to the episode here. You know the drill. Click over there. Join me next time as I decide what I want to do with this new information. See you then.